Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I thank you again for joining me. Uh, you know, yesterday I talked about the uh, book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, Hananiah and the false prophets. Uh, today I'm going to skip back to a few chapters before, uh, in chapter uh, 23 of the book of Jeremiah, because, you know, it talks about the judgment against false prophets. And uh, it's just important that we learn about this and what, what will there be their fate. If they continue in this devious uh, and uh, satanic behavior. Anyways, it's going to be uh, chapters uh, or chapter 23, but verse 9 through 40. And I'm going to start right here. If you have a Bible out, I appreciate it if you uh, get it out and look at it. And if not, that's okay too. Just look at it, look at it, you know, get it out and study it later. This is chapter, starting out with uh, verse 9 here. <clears throat> it states, mine heart mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets all my bones shake and i am like drunken man and like a man whom wine has overcome because of the of yahweh and because of the words of his holiness for the land is full of adulterers for because of swearing the land mourneth the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yeah, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith Yahweh. Wherefore, their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall, fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their uh, visitation, saith Yahweh. And I have seen folly in the uh, prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal, the pagan god, and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also the prophets of Jerusalem, and horrible thing, they commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none doeth return from their wickedness, they are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof of Gomorrah. Therefore saith Yahweh of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with uh, uh, warm wood and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you, that make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not of the mouth of Yahweh. They say uh, still unto them that despise me, Yahweh has said, Ye shall have peace, and they shall say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. So this is kind of like a, a deluded uh, delusions or something. You know, some people have delusions. They don't want to face the facts of what's going on. And besides, these false prophets aren't getting messages, you know, from Yahweh. It's just from their own their imaginations, their own hearts. I don't know. Maybe call it ancient political correctness or something. But but uh, since they're not being, they just want they just want to deny deny the truth. They probably heard. Jeremiah and other prophets talk, and they just thought, well, I'm going to be a prophet. I'm going to speak uh, smooth things, you know, people like. Ah, okay, for who hath stood in the counsel of Yahweh and hath perceived and heard his word, who hath marked his words and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of Yahweh is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall uh, fall grievously upon the uh, head of the wicked, the anger of Yahweh shall not return until he hath eg has executed and till he have performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not uh, sent these prophets, yet they run, ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. I, uh, 
Am I an Elohim at hand, saith Yahweh, and not an Elohim, Elohim uh, afar off? Can any hide himself in the secret places that I shall not see him, saith Yahweh? Do not I uh, fill heaven and earth, saith Yahweh? I have heard what the prophet said that prophesies lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, and I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesies lies? Uh, yea, they are they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, uh, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their uh, dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, and their fathers have uh, forgotten my name for Baal, the pagan, the pagan deity. The prophets that had a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that uh, has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith Yahweh? Is not my word like as a fire, saith Yahweh, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saying, saith Yahweh, that steal the words every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith Yahweh, that use their tongues and say, he says, said. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith Yahweh, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, therefore they shall not profit this people at all, saith Yahweh. And when this people, or the prophet, or the priest, shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of Yahweh? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, saith Yahweh. And as for the prophet, and the priest, and the people, that shall say the burden of Yahweh, I will even punish that man and his house. Not just not just a prophet, but his house, his children, his servants, his wife, parents, if they live there. Uh, thus shall they say, every one unto the neighbor, and every one uh, to his brother, what hath Yahweh answered, and what hath Yahweh spoken? And the burden of Yahweh shall ye mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. For you have uh, perverted the words of the living Elohim of Yahweh, the host are Elohim. This uh, shalt, be, shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath Yahweh uh, answered thee, and what hath Yahweh spoken? But since you say the burden of Yahweh, therefore thus saith Yahweh, because you say this word, the burden of Yahweh, and I have sent unto you, saying, Ye shall not say the burden of Yahweh. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you in the city that I gave you and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach, reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten. So them are strong words coming from Yahweh about, you know, false prophets and people claiming and saying, "Hey, we were speaking for speaking for Yahweh," because uh, that's not that's not so. And uh, he and he take, Heavenly Father takes that stuff very seriously, deceiving other people. Uh, but anyways, I hope that was you know helpful for you, and I encourage you to. You know, again, to study that study that uh, chapter out for yourself. And uh, thank you again. Uh, and please give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell. And also subscribe. Be a subscriber. And uh, I want to thank all my subscribers. You know, and all my people, all the people that are watching my videos. I humbly thank you for that. And uh, and you all been great and everything else. So that's all I want to say right now. Thank you again. Till we meet again. Peace out and shalom.